girl. Hello there, it's me, wonderful Glenn. Finally on camera for the first Drag Race Viewing Party interview that I've got. And it is with our very wonderful Kyron Thrax. Hello, how are you? Hello! I'm feeling amazing. I'm very excited to see the episode. I'm very excited to be talking to you, my darling. <laughs> now, we've also got our very, very wonderful co-host, Thotta Stew, as well. Hello, Stew. Hi there. I'm not as beautiful, but hi. No, you are. She's present. <laughs> so, how have you found the reaction since being announced as the cast of season six of RuPaul's Drag Race? It has been an absolute whirlwind. Um, did I say whirlwind? It has been an absolute whirlwind. Um, the fan response has been incredible. It has been absolutely incredible. Everyone feels so hyped and I feel the love. I see it. I'm literally responding to tweets all day, every day. <laughs> My screen time is like 300 hours a day. It's wild. <laughs> That's maths. That's strong That's math. math. That's math. Quick math, honey. Quick math. Oh, we love it. What's been the biggest change other than the screen time since the show has aired? <laughs> My fee, honey. My fee. Cha-ching. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta put it up. You've got to put it up. <laughs> so does that mean you'll not be keeping your regular slot at Heaven in London now? Oh, no. Yeah, I will. I'll just be getting more. <laughs> <laughs> but also, heaven is my home. Do you know what I mean? Like, I will be there till the, you'll have to drag my my pile of bones out of that place. It's where it's my home. It's my second home. I have sleepovers there all the time. <laughs> well, they do say heaven's a place on earth, but apparently it's just a place in London, really. Yeah, so, yeah. Fair That's game. It. So on the show, you've made sort of is it friends with Lavoie behind the scenes, or is it more like a is she's like a grandma that you want to keep? Lavoie. Or, yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, she. She, she is a very interesting person. Like, I love her. I adore the fucking ground she walks on. But when we first walked in on episode one, I remember us two kind of looking at each other and being like, oh. Like, kind of having like a distinct feeling of, okay, us two could not be more different in where we come from, in drag, in everything. Um, and then we just started actually competing. And we were like, wait. We are the best of friends, honey. Um, no, I love her. I love all of the girls. It's such a great cast. It's such a great cast. Yeah, I think last episode kind of really shown a chemistry development between you and LeVar. Yeah. Which, yeah, I absolutely loved it. I was like, this is the yeah. friendship I'm living for. I mean, she's just, we're just on a similar kind of wavelength in terms of like performance. Like we went into that, like I said on the show, we went into that just wanting to make each other laugh as much as we possibly could. And I feel like we really understood what we both wanted out of it. And that was yeah. just to have fun. And yeah. I feel like when you have fun, you show your best work. Yeah, 100%. So out of the cast, who keeps the uh, WhatsApp group going? Um, <laughs> Zahira, <laughs> probably. Zahira. She, she does is actually the Instagram queen. Outside. Yeah, she knows how to work for socials, honey. She does. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> true, true, true. Does. It's quite good, though, because like I feel like the whole cast get on social media, but then you've always got the instigator. Yeah, so. yeah, 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 definitely. We're all pretty wild with socials, to be honest. The Twitter's been popping off. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. We don't have Twitter popping up, don't we? <laughs> uh, would you be up for a little game? Yes. Oh, my gosh, yes. I love games. I love games. Can so I win? Is it? Winning. I mean, you can win. You okay. can win or win, actually. Oh, so, well, can I do both? <laughs> just a little bit of subtle magic and step away from the camera. Amazing. Gorgeous, gorgeous, And then come back gorgeous. with these. Oh, Ooh. my God. So I think by this point, we all know the concept of toot and boot. Oof. This is bin or win. So it's the same thing. Right. It's not at all ripped off. Okay. But it's with just UK girls. So. As in the, their entire, the entire UK girl the, or just the look? Yeah, just the look. Okay. Thank no, God. I was like, it's going to get personal. That's, that's, that's not a quick one. That's a, like, that's a three hour podcast. Amazing. So quickly, first and foremost, we've got Charity and her entrance look. Toot, toot. Love it. I think it's adorable. Toot. Excellent. On the floor. Marmalade in her new romantics look. Shoot, bitch. Shoot. You couldn't do any better. You literally no. couldn't. Well, apparently she can because she's got top 10 looks and that wasn't in the top 10. Well, like I mean. Six, was it, she said? Well, actually, you know what? She knows how to sew. She does. She, does. she definitely does. Okay, we've got Tamara in the slumber look. Okay, right. Two. I just think if that was on basically anyone else, it'd be a boo. But Tamara is just, I mean, she could just put that blowout on and have a good time and I'll toot it. And the, teddy, <laughs> the teddy bear in the arse did it all. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Excellent. And then we have John Buzz in what I believe was a blue Peter look for the Keep It 100. Right. I'm going to boot it just because it's not something that I would wear. So if I'm going on my own personal vibes, I'd boot it. But she looks beautiful. She looks absolutely beautiful. I think it's not the best thing she wore because she had some good looks in there, wasn't it? Period. And then we've got our lovely Theresa May. Toot, 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 toots McGee. She looks gorgeous. She looks I love gorgeous. it. So powerful. The best thing was about that look was the backstory of 
where part of the outfit came from. Yeah. Check our Instagram, you'll see. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then we've got the famous Ginger Johnson in the no arm. Oh my God, she's so silly. Two, so silly. two, two. I love impractical fashion. If you can't move, I love it. I love it. Well done, Ginger, move. too. That was good. Move. That was, that yes! Was <laughs> and we have a Lawrence Cheney <laughs> in the panto to him. <laughs> I'm going to boot it just because I know that she would redo this much better now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, it is a two. Like, it's a good put together look, but I know that now she would, this I mean, would be like sewing a... machine is a headpiece is a win, but... I yeah, and I love the measuring tape as well. You know what? It's Panto Dame. It's a two. She's it got it right. She's got it right. For the category, it's a two. Fair. And then finally, we have the beautiful Crystal in her Bond villain look. Oh, two. I mean, I'm always going to two Crystal. I think Best she's so I cool. Know. She's so cool. Okay, gorgeous. Magic, they're gone. Oh shit, I was saying two. <gasps> oh, oh, um, win, bin, whatever. Win. I mean, well, edit. I knew what it was. Okay, I'm going to say win really clearly. Just edit it over the entire thing. Win, <laughs> win, and then just a bin for for good for good measure. Bin, bin. <laughs> okay, there you go. And we're not going to edit that bit out. We're just going to put them back. In yeah, yeah, gorgeous, <laughs> gorgeous. That's what we want. That's what natural authenticity, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I've got a really personal question to ask. Okay. Because we are very aware of the presence that is known as Sophia Stardust. Yes, that's my baby. However, do you want to keep that baby? Because I think, I just want to ask, can you replace her with your new Geordie best friend, Glenn Fia Greg's crust? It's me. That's you. Yeah. Oh my God. So oh my God. Well, it's so lovely to meet you, Greg's crust. Thank you. Oh my God. Yeah, it's baby. It's much better than being Stardust. Baby, Sophia's gone. Yeah. She's gone. Who baby. is she? Who? <laughs> Who is she? Where did you find her? Put a bit of glitter on you and she's gone. She's already replaced. Bye, Perfect. Soph. I love you, Soph. It's been amazing. It's been amazing. But I'm here with Greg's sausage roll now. So, <laughs> Would so. you say you're trying to push for a certain best friend to maybe be on a future season? Oh, baby, 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 baby. I'm going to push, push, push until so. the doors break down. Down. We will get her on Drag Race. We will. I mean, hosting. Yeah, hosting. Oh my god, baby. <laughs> Sophia's Drag Race. Oh my god. I think a YouTube series of just you and her watching Drag Race would be. Oh hilarious. my god. I mean, a YouTube series of us two doing anything, to be honest, would be kind of. I mean, it's polarizing. That's the word I'd use. <laughs> where, where did the friendship and the chemistry come from? Because like you were from different parts of the country. Yeah. Well, I don't know. We basically we met one time at Pride, and then we just clicked. And then she asked me to jump on a gig with her. It was a wedding. Um, and we just, we were doing a performance together and we just looked at each other in the eyes whilst we were performing. We just like knew what we wanted to do next. And we just did it basically without speaking. And I was like, you know what? We worked together really well. So then I asked her to come perform with me at Heaven. And it was literally a match made in, in Heaven. heaven. Oh. oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. You can't make this shit up, honey. This is a plug up. Yeah, no. <laughs> I love you, Jeremy. I love you, Jacob. Um, yeah, no, then we worked together at Heaven. It was amazing. Everyone was wowed. They were like, who are these silly bitches? And then the rest is history. We just not, not stopped. We just not stopped. We're literally attached at the hip. She's actually under here. <laughs> oh my God. Hi, Sophia. Oh, I love it. And finally, just before we go, is there anything you'd like to promote? Yes. Well, uh, we have our Girl Ghoul Group song out, Dead or Alive, by Dracula's Child. Go buy it on iTunes. Go stream it on Spotify, Apple Music, the whole shebang. Let's get into the charts, baby. Oh, spooky, wooky, spooky. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Well, I think that's all. Thank you for having us. Amazing. Well, thank you for being here. I love you, girl, girl, ball, ghoul, global. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, spooky. This will be coming out before Halloween, won't it? Yeah. Perfect. There you go. I've got the whole week's worth of content in there. <laughs> and don't forget, come to Bobby's Newcastle for your drag race viewing parties where you can see more fabulous stars every week. <laughs> ooh, ooh.